Hi, I'm Jack, and welcome back to Real Opinions. We're still covering London Film Festival. Today I'm going to be reviewing one of the films that I saw at the festival. If you want to see anything else that we've covered from the event, uh, I'm sure there's a playlist link in the description. So just click anywhere if you want to see more films from the festival. We have some of the big ones as well, but this is a, one of the smaller films. Uh, got a bit of reputation from some of the other festivals it was at earlier this year, but it's a French animation film called My Life as a Courgette. Um, again, as you might feel like it's a recurring theme from this festival, uh, I didn't really have any information going in to this film except for French animated depressing. That's why I was told repeatedly, I think it was by multiple people, that this was a depressing film, which I'm gonna heads up to you if you don't want to hear any plot details or anything like that, you just want a quick synopsis. I would say that it's not depressing at all actually, I'd say that it's a very hopeful film and I left uh, I left it feeling a lot more cheerful than when I went in, so I'd, I'd definitely constitute it as a positive film, and uh, the reason why some people have labelled it as depressing, I'd get to that in the description of the film. My Life as Courgette follows Small Boy, he does have a real name, can't remember off the top of my head, sorry, um, he has a real name, but his mother's pet name for him was Courgette, and so he prefers to be called Courgette. It starts off on this boy, he's in a bit of a um, rough lifestyle, his father is long gone, his mum is uh, rather cruel, alcoholic, and um, due to circumstances, um, he gets sent to an orphanage. And um, it's due to these circumstances that put him in the orphanage, as well as, as well as circumstances within the orphanage, and reasons why other children went to the orphanage that are very dark. I mean, they're not in your face, like, they never show anything dark on camera, they never show, like, never push it on your face, or anything like that, but the fact that they're talking about otherwise, I would say, dark things in something so bright and cheerful and would look like a kid's film to anyone else, it's, it's, I can see why people found that depressing. I, I compared uh, the Italian film Fiore uh, earlier in this festival to kind of like being a Tracy Beaker thing, and... I don't know, I feel like this again could also be apt in that, in that, again, it's that all of these children have sad stories for why they are in these places, but overall, throughout the film, it's about kind of saying that regardless of the troubles that you've had in your life, it doesn't, you can find a place to make your own, basically, and... I feel like this is going to be a very short review because it's just, it's a very sweet film. It's really nice animation. There's nothing, no shots in particular or anything like that that blows your mind, but it's just really lovely animation. It's all hand done, I, th I believe, with puppets, stop motion. And um, the plot, while very simplistic, is just really light-hearted and sweet. And it just leaves you with a smile on your face like it's... I believe it's 80 minutes long or something like that, but it feels like, and I heard people saying this outside, coming out of the film as well, it feels like less than 20, just because it's such a easy film to watch. It's so easily watchable, and while I don't feel like it could be anyone's favourite film, I feel like it could be one that, if you're feeling down, possibly, you just put on, and you feel, some people just, I don't know, feel a bit happier for it, despite the darker beginning. I'd say 7 out of 10, just because, while well, I said it's really lovely, sweet film, but that's kind of where the brilliance stops. I like I like animation, I always give animation, uh, well, I'm always a bit more positive to animation, but in this case, I think it would be 7 out of 10, regardless of whether it was animated or not, it just gives that extra charm. There's nothing besides charm. I mean, there are points with the darker themes that I mentioned at the beginning, but that's, it all just boils down to this very simple message that is very clear right from the get-go, and it never halts up on that theme, it never deteriorates it in any way, but it sticks to a plot point, it follows it through, and it does it well and simply. And yeah, it's just enjoyable, and I'd, yeah, if you have the chance to watch it, I definitely would. I, I, I believe it might be coming to a streaming service or something like that soon, but great, so that was My Life as a Courgette, 7 out of 10. Um, I'd recommend it if you want to, if you have the chance to see it at some point in the future. Um, if you want to see any other films that we've reviewed from the festival, click somewhere on the screen, I'm sure it is, or it's in the description. Um, bye.